Yeah, so the dream through. This was uh, the situation was on the stream, right? Uh, we had the the apple here facing the cur the carbon. There you go. Okay, I'm not a na native English speaker, so you'll have to bear with me on this one. But uh, what you have here, you had this maneuver. You have precise node installed. I don't, but not on this install at least. And you wanted to go go prograde here about 100 delta V, I think. I recall seeing as well. So you ended up with a parry. I mean, you adjusted it somewhat and you got the lowest parry around 1.2 maybe. For this example, 1.8 will do. And this is about as good as you're going to get with this Delta V budget if you burn at the Apple apps in an orbit that looks sort of like yours did. I mean, yours was less inclined as well. But uh, this was just a quick example I set up here. We, we want to save Jab here. Wait. Let's turn off infinite fuel. I just use that to, to set up the example quickly. And uh, Jeb here, well, he's only got a very limited delta V budget. So uh, if we were to escape here and add a maneuver, it's, um, well, it's going to be highly doubtful that we actually have enough delta V. I mean, it's going to be sharp, close. So um, to keep Jeb safe and alive, we're going to set up something more efficient. Now, um, what I said in stream was never burn a uh, return burn on your Apple if you've got an eccentric orbit. So you want to burn at the Perry, but if we try to set up a node at our Perry right now, well, that's going to fling us out of the Kerbin system out into um, interplanetary space. And that's because the Perry is currently aligned with the prograde of the Mun. The Mun is heading over there and if we burn at the pair, we're going to add our velocity to the velocity of the MUN. So we're going to go out at a very high velocity that way. But as I said, uh, just as I entered the stream pretty much, uh, if you watch this orbit and the eccentricity of it as we time warp, it's going to stay aligned like, th like so. Uh, aligned with the galactic plane. Now I have a custom skybox, so it's not quite as obvious. But, um, I mean, as the Mun goes around Kerbin here, and as Kerbin goes around the Sun, this is going to keep on facing this direction, like no matter what. So when you're on the other side here, this apple is going to be on the other side of Kerbin, and the Perry is going to be on the side facing Kerbin. So if we burn at our Perry, not there, not there, not there, but there, when we're on the opposite side, we're actually going to burn retrograde to the Mun's orbit. So we're going to subtract our orbital velocity around Kerbin from that of the orbital velocity of the Mun. And that will mean we have a very, very efficient return. And then you can tweak this somewhat because, well, we're not going to be exactly where we want. Okay, now the maneuver node system does need a rework. Uh, you'll, you'll find this a bit easier with um, with your precise node that you've got but you basically set up something very carefully here that was actually the time we chose and if you if you look at our parry here oh look 24 kilometers so that's that's a free return at about 100 as we said i don't re remember the exact orbital parameters you had but i think they were close to this so that's basically what you want to do. You want to wait until your Perry is aligned, um, facing retrograde to the Mun's orbit. And in the case of the Mun, even if you're playing with life support, you'll find that it moves around so qu quickly around Kerbin that it will rarely be an issue. Only when you've got like hours to spare, rather than days, is um, doing an inefficient burn really advisable. So this will get us back in, from this position, I think it took about four days going from here to ending up at our Perry by waiting to do our burn until in about a day when we're over here. 